Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. And Jamie joins me today. Hello. Today is, I think, our third relationship video. Okay, yes. Third relationships. People like our relationship videos. People ask us all the time because we've been married 24 years. No, we've been together 24 <laughs> years and we've been married 16. Yes, now I remember. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of memory. Yes, we're going to be talking about memory a little bit today. Because sometimes you get frustrated that I can't remember certain things and then I can remember other things right to the detail. Yes. <laughs> Did you remember your line? No. <laughs> you forgot it? Yes. <laughs> So Jamie often complains, not often, but you'll complain. Well, I don't understand how you don't remember something that I've told you an hour ago or even a few days ago. I usually don't forget an hour. Well, But if it's three, four days, five and, days, six days. And then you'll remember a detail from 1982 at Tuesday afternoon at one o'clock, what happened? Where I was, what exactly. I was doing, right? Exactly. Well, just all of a sudden we'll see like a news flash on TV or something or an event or something. All of a sudden I'll be like, oh yeah, the last time that happened, I was, I was seven years old and I uh, was, um, you know, at school and it was a sunny afternoon and it yeah, was... Yeah, I, I don't was, understand that. And you're like, how do you do that? And how don't you remember? I don't really think how do you do that about remembering a long term, like a, something that happened a long time ago. I don't understand why you don't remember what happened two weeks, two ago. weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Or a conversation that we had. And I'm not alone with that. No. There's a lot of people that are like that. And do you know why that is? Well, it has something to do with um, your brain and, and the right lobe, left lobe, and where you store things, I'm assuming. Exactly. You store things differently. Short-term memory and long-term memory are stored differently. Right. And the way you access it is differently. So does that mean you're smarter if you remember one thing over the other thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> Just curious. So, <laughs> like for for example, like I can remember wines. I can remember wines that are very detailed flavor wise. Right. I can remember if we've had a wine in the past. Right. You know, like oh yeah, we had this wine six years ago. Remember, we had this vintage. You're like, uh, no. no. <laughs> so, it's all stored differently in our in our minds and how we retrieve our it. Brains, yes. And I like to tell people. People say, oh, I forgot. No, you didn't forget. You just need to get the mechanism to go back and retrieve the information because we really don't forget things. It's how do we get how do we get gain the capacity to get into our brain to retrieve the information that is that is right to find the to find it because it's there. It's right. It's there. Our computer knows how to do it because our computer has a very straightforward operating system, right? But our right. brain doesn't have a very straightforward operating system. Our brain is very intelligent, um, very very intelligent. We don't even know the capabilities of our brain. And uh, so, but when people say, oh, I forgot, I'm like, you didn't forget. You just have to remember how to go back and get her. You say, oh, I'm for very forgetful. I have a friend that says, I'm extremely forgetful. You know that. No, you're not forgetful. You have to go back and figure out how to, and it's like working out, right? You work out to build muscles. You need to work your brain out. You need to exercise your brain. And there's a lot of things that people can do. There's a lot of studies that have been done, especially for seniors, you know, how they keep, how they can play board games, how they keep thinking, keep working. Because if you leave your brain stagnant, you're not forcing right. it to work, it's not gonna work. Like if you don't force yourself to run, you're not gonna be able to run. You're not active. It's a whole whole thing. But I definitely know that there's a connection between healthy body and healthy mind. Well, so, of course. So the better you eat, the more you exercise, the more active you are, the more the more you're gonna feel good and the more you're gonna go you the more you are gonna appear to be smarter, you appear gonna be more confident, which is a huge part. Um, and it, it all goes together, healthy body, healthy mind. I mean, the, uh, the Greeks knew this thousands of years ago, healthy body, healthy mind. Um, so that's the correlation, um, just different storages. And, uh, you know, we're not going to get in depth on this, but there's so many things you can do. And, and there's so many websites you can read on, on memory and, and things for that. And there's a lot of good books out there too. A lot of people forget people's names, right? You get introduced to right. somebody and you forget their name. And you need to make associations about making associations. Like, um, is that what you do? I try to do yeah. that. I try to do that. But, you know, I need to consciously, because I forget names terribly. Yeah, I'm not a good terribly. Person. So, I mean, 
for me, I have to make an association like right there, right away. Like, oh, hi, my name is Alex. Nice to meet you, Marcus. I'm like, Alex, today's the month of April, right? So it's April, A, April. I met Alex in April. Then I can remember going back to to Alex because it's April, right? Right. So, um, so that's really the unique situation. So we, the more associations you can actually make, the better off you are. And th through things like even with wine, like when you taste wine and you're cataloging wine or taking notes, mental notes, you make associations like, oh, where did I have that wine? What was the weather? You know, things like that. And all that kind of stuff really helps. I'm Chef Marcus Juliano. And Jamie. Thanks for watching. Click and like. Click like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, definitely pass it on.